much, Cheryl. All right. Well, immigration reform becoming a key topic of debate for the 2016 presidential race. My next guest played a New Mexico uh, law enforcement officer in the hit series Breaking Bad. Now he wants to make a difference in real life by running for public office in Albuquerque. Joining me now in a first on Fox Business interview with actor Stephen Michael Quezada. <laughs> Stephen, welcome. Good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? All right. What is driving you to run for public office? Well, I already have. I already sit on the uh, Albuquerque School Board. Uh, I've been involved in my community uh, way before I was any kind of actor or any kind of comedian. Um, I've always worked with kids, uh, did gang intervention programs. Uh, so this is something I've always been involved in. This isn't new for me. Uh, and so this is a gradual step for me to be able to help the people in the community that I love. I love this community. Mm -hmm. I'm a New Mexican. We're really proud of our culture and we're really proud of who we are. And one of the main reasons why I'm running for office is because I'm an American and I can. <laughs> Stephen, uh, immigration has been a hot topic most, mostly of late because of Donald Trump's uh, comments uh, that have been interpreted mm -hmm. many different ways, uh, but specifically his comments on immigration. How, what was your response to that? Uh, you know, uh, immigration is, is a big topic for sure uh, in the areas where we live. Um, those are our, that's our workforce. I mean, nobody eats without them working in America. Nobody, uh, you know, they do the jobs that most Americans won't do. Uh, I know Donald uh, Ch uh, Trump uh, wants to uh, build a, uh, a wall, and I'm asking who's going to build a wall for $8 an hour. It's, it's going to be the workforce that he wants uh, out. So uh, we need to figure out immigration reform. Um, are we against criminals? Of course we are. But to say that all, all Mexican people are, are drug dealers and rapists was uh, something that uh, should have never been said. I was just performing in front of 800 people and when I got into the elevator, I had a man with his seven-year-old son told me to go back to Mexico because I was a rapist and a drug dealer. And then when I walked out of the elevator, he spit at me. I mean, is this is what we're trying to promote as Americans? Because, you know, my family goes back here 300 years. Uh, my, my father fought in World War II, Korea, and Vietnam. And for me to have to travel the country and deal with stuff like that, uh, I think is unfair. And it's something that wasn't thought out uh, when you make a comment like that, because some of us Americans have to live with that. Hey, Stephen, when, when you're in your campaign against the other two candidates, um, how, how much does your acting background or, or really your celebrity, uh, I would think that puts you at a huge advantage. Is that how the race is shaping up right now? Well, you know, a lot of people use money as a huge advantage. Um, I don't have that, that luxury. Um, I'm just a, a regular old actor and comedian. Uh, but locally, I think mostly people know me here as a community member, as, as you know, as, as somebody who raises money for children, who, who, do, who does programs mm -hmm. through uh, Youth Development Incorporated, who's been involved in education. Uh, so the rest of the country knows me as Breaking Bad actor Steve Gomez. <laughs> but here, here in New Mexico, they know me as Steve and Michael Quesada, uh, the community member. Steven, it's Dagan McDowell. I work here at Fox Business. County Commissioner now, do you, is that where you see your career? Are you going to be an actor 20 years from now or do you want to be a politician? Uh, I'm going to do both. I, I don't understand why anybody who runs for office can't do, you know, you never see anybody quit their job to run for office if they're a lawyer or if they own, a, if they're wealthy and they own a construction company or, or any kind of business. You know, nobody ever quits their job or, well, or nobody ever. Well, Schwarzenegger did. Um, I mean, Schwarzenegger did. There, there are a lot, there are a number of actors that when they were serving their terms in office, they weren't doing film work or television work. Well, I, I do the work uh, because I have three children. I have two daughters mm. in college. Uh, I'm not wealthy. Arnold Schwarzenegger and those other actors mm. are very wealthy. You're not talking to Brian Cranston here. You're talking to a guy <laughs> who played. Uh, <laughs> so, Stephen, <laughs> you know? Stephen, we don't have much time left. Uh, who, okay. who, do you, who do you like uh, right now uh, as the presidential race heats up? A lot of talk about the GOP field. Who do you like um, on the left? Well, I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm waiting to see who the most democratic person is going to step up. Uh, I don't really read or, or believe what I read all the time. I want somebody to be honest, so I'm looking at the person who's going to be the most honest and the person that I think is really going to look at, you know, the economic, uh, mm. uh, of the, the economic uh, position of this country and who's going to look at immigration. Do you like and Hillary so a lot Clinton? Of these Do you like Hillary Clinton? 
I, I, like, I like a couple of them. Hillary okay. is definitely one of my top runners. All right. All right, Stephen Michael Quesada, thank you for joining us this morning and uh, sharing your thoughts and your, your run at office. Uh, good luck to you. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate it. All right. Take care.